Hey guys, it's Creepy King 101 and today <clears throat> we're going to be going through my art journal. So, no whoop, I haven't posted in a long time. In honesty, it's just laziness and not knowing what to post. Because of the new FTC thing, I was going to make a video about that, comment if you want me to. It's all, like, they're fining people and stuff and it's dumb, but anyway, uh, try to post a video like a week ago, but it don't work. We're going through my journal. Uh, also, it's not complete. I'm only like halfway through. Um, a lot of it is Naruto stuff. and It's all anime stuff. And uh, yeah, let's get into this. So this first one is Pain doing his almighty push. As you see my freaking shadow. So. Oh gosh, that glare. Let's do it from up here then. Um, this is Pain doing his almighty push, which destroys the leaf village pretty much made this like two or three months ago and my drawings I, I de say I've definitely gone better so yeah so this is my first drawing in this book um this is Super Saiyan 1 Goku with a spirit ball and Frieza ship he's on the planet Namek and it's Super Saiyan 1 Goku vs Frieza from Dragon Ball Z and my name is in the bottom corner uh I think it's pretty good. I think I could have did better in the proportions because I just see his his chest compared to his arms is a little whacked up. But uh, yeah. Then we have Cell getting destroyed by Gohan with his Kamehameha. Um, for this one, I used a lot of these. I used a reference, but I didn't like completely copy. I looked at them on the computer and then I drew it in my own way. This is still getting destroyed. This one I did sideways and it shows like him fading back here. It didn't like looking, oh, I'm about to die, so. Made this one uh, around a week after that one, which was like five months ago. And then we have Trunks from DBZ. Over here we have his Capsule Corp thing with the hope on it. Focus. And uh, I like this one. But the only thing that's wrong, I think, is his hair just looks a little weird and his eye. And so, he looks a little a little weird, in my opinion. Then that's his destroyed um, city and stuff, and that's uh, Captain Corp House. Um, this is my Attack on Titan one. Over here we have the, um, all the little people getting them and a bunch of Titans in the back. And then this one... I think it's the Colossal Titan, I'm pretty sure. I used to think it was like Cannibalistic Titan or something. And uh, it's, I think it's pretty good besides the fact that he's smaller than the wall. When in reality, his literal head would be all the way up here. Probably taller. But I just said it's because of proportion. And that kind of works. This isn't even a drawing. It's just Jason. Uh, part From part two on and on. Feel free to pause the video if you want to look those. And that just didn't continue. So this is where we start getting to everything Naruto. First over here we have Naruto Uzumaki uh, with his signature headband and him as a kid. And over there we have Karama's eye. I think it's pretty good. Tell me what you think down below. Uh, tell me what you think of all these pictures and which one's your favorite. That would be the question of the day. Um, I think it's pretty good besides the fact that his arm and his shirt just kind of go off to the side and it's kind of weird in my opinion but yeah let me know what you think my friend Gushan inspired me for a lot of these shout out to him by the way and uh I'll give you a shout out in the, uh, in the video this is his Susano um it's kind of my own design Susano I'm just like oh with the giant like energy thing so might as well just make it all up that's him down there, even though in real life that I think it'd be huge. Huge. Um, I made this one around four months ago. And, uh, so what you think? I'm not even gonna say that for all. This is mine. My character changes a lot. First, he looked like this and kind of looks a little weird. But he changes later. Uh, over here, we have my Susano with two swords, while Gushans has, I think, a sword and a kunai. 
Then we have this chart. If you want me to go over it individually one day, uh, comment that down below. This is version one. It has Indra's and Sasuke's and all that stuff. And the different eyes, too. This is a sketch of Yushan's person in close-up. I never finished. And I do stats and stuff in here. If you want to see a video of that or you want to, like, me to add you, if I know you, uh, I will do that, too. So comment down below. Um, I think it's pretty good. Just this eye looks a little funky as well. Now, this one has really evolved. And I'll show you my big one uh, at the end. Now, it's over Sasuke. I think it's pretty good besides the fact that nothing really happens to their clothing. His face is yellow in the front because I accidentally used the wrong colored pencil. And it looks like he's doing a miniature Kamehameha. Um, besides that, I think it looks pretty good. I think his jaw looks way too far down or something. Don't know what it is. But I do do a second ver- I said do do. I do a second version later on, and I think it looks better. Then we have my friend Tao Shoshana. Shout out to his family's channel. I'll probably remember it later. The Family Homestead or something. Um, use Family Homestead. Go subscribe to them, guys. Their videos are pretty cool. It's just like daily stuff, like cooking and stuff and going on, on trips. This is Susano. It has two axes, and it's red and black. That's him down there. His character also changes, too. And I personally like it. I think out of all of them, it's my favorite. Kakashi in front of the Sharingan. Um, I personally like it. Um, I think the only problem is he looks a little wide. It is, his hands are a little funky. And I think I should have done my, his Mangekyo back here. Um, my camera's like shifting a lot and I don't know what's going on. Um, this is Minato. This is where I started using a lot more outline. Um, I think it looks pretty good. It's over him with his signature, um, I forgot what it's called. Flying Rajin, I think. And he's the fourth Hokage, and that's his Rasengan in the back. Sorry about that. I tried to fix my camera, but it's not going to thing. These are stats. I'll just go past these. It's like there's st Genjutsu, Taijutsu, Ninjutsu, all that stuff. Want me to go over them? Uh, comment down below. Uh, this is my Goku sketch, as it says up there. I was bored one day and I was like, eh, might as well draw Goku again. And this is what it looks like uh, three months ago. Yeah. Because I knew I'd do it before October. Um, this is where I started doing a lot more stuff. Uh, Madara and Naruto. And I'm going to put the little Naruto Shippuden thing up there. Um, I personally like it. It's him when he's like enraged and stuff and he's punching down onto the eight shield because the shape of an eight kind of. I think it's pretty good. Uh, only problem is his face. I was trying to do that with like a crayon and as you see it kind of did something weird and he looks kind of crazy. And their sizes are a little off. So that, I think it's pretty good. More stats. I have four open slots so if you want to Recommended and stuff. This is where I started using Copics. And believe me, those things right there are magical. Um, bow down to La Madara. This is Madara, and I like this. This is my favorite, one of my favorites. And that's his uh, Susano, not full body Susano, but half Susano, or what it should look like regularly. His hair, I did with charcoal, uh, colored pencils, and mixed it with. A black Copic, and the rest of the stuff is also Copic. I personally love it. This one, you can see how tired I got. So we have Shisui, and these are the five main uh, Uchiha. Shisui with his Mangekyo. Itachi with his Mangekyo, and everybody has their Mangekyo. Madara, Obito, and Sasuke. Um, Problems... <laughs> You could see how tired I got, because over here I was really trying, and then you could see it slowly, I was just like, eh. And I think his hair looks a lot like Anko's, if you don't know who that is. She's a woman from the show, and it literally looks like that. But, uh, yeah, overall I think it's okay. This is where 
This one I didn't use any reference, I just did it off memory. I think it's pretty good, my friends thought it was pretty good. Right here I messed up his eye a little, if you look there, you can see the original part. I'll probably be able to fix it with the black copic. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. He has his headband with his hair over it and Sasuke. Um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of this one, Rasengan and Chidori. This is probably two and a half months ago. Now you have Sasuke and Itachi, his older brother. You can see I did his eye a few times. And Sasuke is pretty good. That's the Uchiha symbol behind them and Itachi, Sasuke, Mangekyo's. The, the, he's not part of the Leaf Village anymore, so he has a cross to it when he's part of the Akatsuki. But, uh, yeah. Then, this is Deku, which I used a thin point, uh, pen. Not like those Sharpie thin points, like a whole another brand. Because, um, somebody from my class let me use it. I outlined his, uh, second alpha, you would say. And, uh, I think it looks pretty good. Only problem is, is this looks a little weird in proportions, but I think it looks pretty good on the most part. I like how I made from blue and then red to orange to yellow to green. Um, yeah. This one was two months ago. This was Naruto and Kanahamaru eating ramen when they were um younger. He was like 13, he was like eight and he ate five he's eating his fifth bowl and he's eating his fourth and he's laughing at her because he has noodles sticking out of his nose and back there we have the amount with all the faces but they're not in there and uh yeah i think it's pretty good for the most part this one i did without any um reference this is obito and I think I could have done some other stuff, like maybe this when it's open over here, or I could have drawn Toby. But I personally think it looks good. You have him as a kid right here. Him when he has Toby. Him when he copies, uh, when he summons the Nine Tails. When his name is Toby and he like changes it. Kakashi over here. Um, him without his helmet, with uh, his Renegon and. Dragon and over here with his mask, which I do have over there. Tell me what you think. This is where you can really start seeing the changes. This was like, I still think two months ago. Time has gotten so weird. I got this in like August. Um, what to say? What to say? I felt dumb after I finished because I'm like, wait, wh why instead of just doing this, why didn't I just... I had a room for it, so I don't know why I didn't do it that way. But this is where you can start seeing the real changes. I used a reference for this one, because you can see. But uh, I think I did pretty good. Like, I didn't copy, like, off the computer, but, yeah. And I'm going to, real quick, just compare it. Because I can go up to 43 minutes on this thing. If I just find it real quick, compare that one from, like, four months ago. To this one from two months ago. I think I got a lot better than what you think. This is Sasuke Uchiha with his Eternal Mangekyo and his Renegon. His, uh, Renegon. Um, over there we have Itachi Uchiha and his Usano on the back with a crossed out leaf symbol. I think this might be one of my second favorite. I think it is. Because it's so defined and stuff. I also use Copics for this one. Shout out to Jessica in my class for letting me use hers. But I got my own now so I don't need to ask. Um, Bakugo from My Hero Academia. With his outfit. Um, I think it's pretty good. Problems. This just kind of looks like it keeps going. And uh, his arms. You could see where they originally were and what I had to do. Because they were so low. It was kind of funny. Um, yeah, that's Bakugo. Madara kicking butt. Uh, so this Madara, he's so powerful that he cracked the floor, and it's him kicking a dude who's trying to use a water jutsu, taking a shuriken to the hand and a kunai to the hand. And he is one of the most OP characters 
to be honest. And uh, he's pretty good. Know what you think? This is version two of the one I did earlier. I actually colored in this one and stuff. Still don't have these ones. This is from like a month and a half ago. I did this around October. I mean Halloween. Maybe a little before. Um, I think it's pretty good. I focused on the eyes a lot more and like know how to drew them better. And then I made personal ones for people I know, including myself. Then this is version 2 of the one I did earlier with Naruto vs Sasuke. I think it looks a lot better. You have Naruto, Hashirama, and then Ashura? Yeah. And then you have Indra, Madara, and then Sasuke with um, Hagoromo in the back. I call this one the final battle reincarnates. It's version 2 of the final battle between Naruto and Sasuke. I think this one's better. Issues, uh, Indra looks a little weird, well, Indra looks a little weird, and, uh, let's see, oh, his eye is, like, way too pink, but, yeah, on the most part, I think it looks pretty good with the Susano, and then I forgot what that one's called, a giant Buddha statue, um, Obito versus Kakashi, with Kakashi coming from above with his Lightning Blade, and then Obito coming underneath with that thing. I forgot what it's called. Uh, fun fact, Obito is my favorite character. Uh, no particular reason. I just like his design and the way he looks. Uh, but yeah, this is when they have the final thing. And then he uh, Kakashi gets it through here. And then Obito gets it through like his chest. <sighs> and then we have me and my friends as Naruto characters. Casey... Tyler, me, and Gershon, or we're team three. I'll explain this in another video if you want me to. On the all part, I think I did better because all three of our characters look different. This is my first time drawing him. But uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. This is from around a month ago. This is Itachi reincarnated with the crow in the back. And I realized that that's supposed to be Shizu's eye, not his. It looks pretty good. I painted some of it. And, um, yeah, tell me what you think. Now, this is the second version, which is from this uh, story ma um, my friend made, and I'm part of it. It's called Naruto Till the Jinjuriki, the stone arc, which is in Japanese right there. Um, Rama. Who dies in RV, so rest in peace. Uh, me, Tyler, and Luis, who's one, another one of my friends. And this is what our characters look like. Uh, I think it's pretty good with his nine toes behind him. Doesn't have it anymore, though, which kind of sucks. And then we have this one from, oh, that's from like half a month ago. Or like, probably like 20 days, actually. This is from yesterday, which my Susano's changed, and this is Sasuke Susano with the, I would just call it Kaguya Moon behind him in the tree. I think it looks pretty good. And then my last but not least, um, Luis' Susano I'm drawing currently. He has the two tails flaming weapons, and it looks like Sasuke's because he's like connected to him somehow. But yeah, that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, and then we have up here, I have to get something for this. This is my big project I was working on. It's Naruto and Sasuke growing older. And it starts with Kid Naruto, Pre-Teen Naruto, Teenager, and then Adult being Hokage. Kid Sasuke, pre-teen Sasuke, and teen Sasuke, with him eventually becoming, like, a wanderer. And then it connects like that to Fist Bump. Uh, I put that on my Instagram. So, um, yeah, those are my drawings. Hopefully you enjoyed them. Um, tell me what you want me to post, and, uh, tell me which was your favorite out of all these. All of these, uh. I'm trying to make another video. Don't know when. Uh, don't know what about. But I'll try. Because this channel is kind of dead. 
But, uh, I'll see you in the next video, and, uh, peace out, my creepers.